Jamesy. good people. This is Mr. Baxter from Hole in the Sky Broadcasting Company, KZ95. Tonight, I possess the great pleasure in introducing the curiously strong entity that will randomly select 10 short films tonight. It is with my utmost gratitude and greatest pleasure that I introduce to you something that should have been updated a long, long time ago. The Fiery System. Hello. Hello, good people. Welcome back to Screaming Off Screen. Welcome if it's your first time. We have a big plastic thing of balls here, tons of balls that represent tons of filmmakers, that represent tons of films um, from all over the world. Very exciting. I'm going to draw 11 of them. The 11th one is meant to be a wild card. So if we don't have a film from a filmmaker for some reason, we can put that 11th one in there. If we do have all 10 that we get and everyone's here, everything's all good, we'll probably play the 11th too, why not? Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's do it all, right? Welcome to Scream It Off Screen, let's go. Remember, stay till the end or else your IP address will be sold overseas. We love ye. Okay, who's first? <laughs> Up first tonight, we have number 59. And number 59 is, of course, Sam Mizrahi Powell from Los Angeles, California. Congratulations, Sam. Let's do the next. Who is it going to be? Oh. Yeah, we have some balls in here that are dummy balls. This is 132. There is no 132 tonight, unfortunately, so that's, that's done. Who's next? All right. Up next, we have number 43. And number 43 is of course Kevin Ralston and Laura Ornella from New York, New York. Very good. We're doing good things tonight, aren't we, everybody? Let's walk. Let's walk. Who's it gonna be? Who's number three? <laughs> number three is 45. And number 45 is James Middleton from Edmore, Michigan. Congrats, James. Here we go again. One of my favorite numbers, number 37. And number 37 is, of course, Jane Simonetti from Piedmont, California. 
All right, Jane, good work. Here we go. What's next? Next. Oh, a blank ball. There's nothing on this, it's another dummy ball. Just adds to the excitement and fun of this lottery system. Up next, who's it gonna be? Oh, another, uh, another fun ball. It's a little too high of a number for us tonight, 118, but that's okay. All right. Oh, here, this works. Up next, we have number 47. And 47 is J.F. Tannen from Westfield, New Jersey. Congrats, J.F. Remember, if you did submit tonight, you have a ball in this lottery. Um, you need to stay till the end or else we will sell your IP address overseas. Make yourself known in the chat. Get acquainted with the community. Become a part of the community. We do have some good computer people who are able to track you down, track down your IP address and sell it if you aren't here till the end. So stick around till the end. Get involved in the chat. Have a good time, even if you don't get in. All right, up next. We have another number that's a little too big, 128, not, not gonna work. All right, who do we have? Oh, this works. Number 40. And number 40, a lot of 40s tonight, wow. Number 40 is Jacob DeLeon from Kansas City, Missouri. Congratulations, Jacob. Up next, who's it gonna be? Yeah, a little too big, 115, all right. Up next, I think this one works. We have number 73. And number 73, is of course Thomas G. Leary from Colorado. All right. Hey. Who's next? Who's next? Up next is number 58. And number 58. 58, don't be late, right? Number 58 is Jessica Whitney Love from Overland Park, Kansas, I think. What was that one? 58, okay. All right, Jessica, good work. We got three more to draw. Hope it's you, if it's not, stick around regardless because we will sell your IP address, your IP address if you don't. All right. Oh, geez. A little bit, Allen Iverson, number three, here we go. All right. And who is number three? Number three is Brandon Victoriano from Santa Cruz, California. All right, it's gonna be a wonderful night. Here we go. Too big, 124. All right. Uh-oh, dummy ball, nothing on this one. Isn't that fun? Oh, wow. Okay, up next we have number 27. And who is number 27? Well, I will tell you, number 27 is Pamela Ruth Moore 
from Chicago, Illinois. Hey, Pamela. Welcome to the fold tonight. All right, here we go. Remember, stick around till the end, even if this last ball is not yours or your IP address will be sold overseas. So, who's the wild card gonna be? Who's number 11 gonna be, huh? I really wanna get a good one for this. All right, who is it? Oh, okay. It is... Number 62. And number 62. Oh, shoot. I think I. Here. I think it'll work now. Hey, we can see that, right? Looks good. Love these guys. All right. Number 62. Who's wildcard 62? It is. Julian Lee from Rockville, Maryland. Let's rock it, Maryland. All right, congratulations to all the filmmakers who got in. If you didn't get in, just submit again next month. And I think it's going to be a really good night. This looks like a good selection, I think. So yeah, stick around or else your IP address will be sold overseas. So think about that before you leave. Get into the chat, get involved, submit again next month. And above all else, let's have a good night tonight. With that, I'm going to go get into hair and makeup and I'll be back in a few minutes here. I might, I might be outside, we'll see what happens. Regardless, it's going to be a good night. All right, see you soon. It's getting to, it's the, getting point to the point where I'm off on Whoa, whoa, guys, uh, we gotta hold up. Gotta stop practice a little early tonight. The crew is here. Al, I will see you on Sunday for practice. Well, that sounds like a really good plan. All right, great. See you then. All right, we'll see you later. Susan, you stay right here. You are going to help me with the rules a little bit. Sound good? I can't wait to become super helpful for you. All right, let's get a who. <sighs> okay, let's get right to it. If you'd like to submit in the future, the basics are the film must be your own original work. It must be between 3 and 15 minutes long and no commercials. Submissions now take place through our website, ScreamItOffScreen.com. There you will find a complete list of rules and a submission form. For anyone who doesn't already know, this is my new assistant, Zuzan. Zuzan may be filling in for me during the surgery, so we're just getting uh, Zuzan's feet wet, so to speak, helping me with the rules. So Zuzan, why don't you take the next part? Every film will have the chance to be gone. For films four minutes and above, this will be the three minute mark. For films four minutes and below, this will be the halfway point. When this mark is reached, a little red square will appear in the lower left hand corner of the screen. When you see the square, go to the chat and click on the link to vote gong or let it play. Please do this promptly so we can expedite the decision. Majority rules. All films that don't get gonged will be eligible to win a cash prize sponsored by you. Everything up to 10101 will go to the winner. Everything beyond will either go to Feeding Screamy or the dog or Zuzan maybe. If you'd like to contribute, we have links to Venmo and PayPal in the description of this video. These accounts are, as always, 100% secure. You have absolutely nothing to worry about. 
Isn't that right, Susan? That's right. It's 100% cool. We have also recently launched a Patreon. Join us today. Susan? That's for sure, friend. After all the films have played, we will give you three minutes to vote for your favorite. Please choose wisely. Ask yourself, who do you want to see more videos from? After the polls close, I will announce third, second, and first place live on air. Well, I think that about covers everything. Thanks for tuning in tonight for what is going to be another very nice, pleasant, memorable night. Without further ado, let's bring out the gong. Hello everybody, welcome to the show. Coming to you live from this peaceful, comfortable area right here, this is Scream It Off Screen. Tonight we are screening 10 or 11 short films chosen by the lottery system. None have been pre-screened. Who will you choose as the winner? Please choose the right one. I hope we can give you an entertaining, joyful experience tonight from this quaint outdoor area right here. And now I'm going to introduce the host of the show. It's me again, Terry. Sorry. Uh, I just want to make it clear that I was wearing, or the cartoon version of myself was wearing an Audiozoid t-shirt in that rules video, but trust me, we are no longer partnered with Audiozoid. I forgot to blur the logo on the t-shirt out, and I apologize for not doing that. But as far as I know, Audiozoid has dissolved. Nils Duncan, I have not heard from him in a long time. I hope he's okay. I hope um, him and his wife have worked things out and his daughter's doing good and, and all that. I wish him the best. Anyway, wow, what a night, huh? Welcome to this nice, um, relaxing setting. Really, really beautiful here, really beautiful things around me. Let's get to it. We've waited long enough. <clears throat> <clears throat> Up first, we have Pursuit of a Jigsaw by Sam Mizrahi Powell from Los Angeles, California. And I believe Sam is joining us live right now. Sam, are you there? I hope so. Hello, my name is Sam Mizrahi Powell, and I'm the filmmaker who made the film that you're about to watch. Some have said the film is so scary, so entertaining, that it kills you. Let's go to an interview and find out. <laughs> Hello, ma'am, what do you think of the film? What do you think of the film so far? If you want to die from entertainment, make sure to vote uh, to keep watching this film when it's time to vote. I'm Sam Azrai Powell, the director, and enjoy the show. With only one month till marriage. I have to keep my distance. Looking at the couples around me, I see a steady loss in individualism. The way that, over time, they adapt to one another. Human jigsaws. 
How do you know that you are alive? For me, it's the spinning wheel of an automobile in morning traffic. It tells me that life has moved beyond the divergence of yesterday. That the cycle continues. That nothing has changed. The problem is, I live in a town where the main occupation is pretending to be someone who you aren't. He didn't intend to be this one. He used to have a voice exactly like this. Until one day, it just faded away. I can't imagine how your voice can just fade away. I suppose it would sound like this. You're having a thought when all of a sudden it gets quieter and quieter and quieter. Just like that. But the voice never returns. My voice is here to stay. The contract of this voice would never be able to get control on this because I'm not able to get control on this. The court is going to leave the front. So you understand, Benjamin. You cannot simply make decisions on your own anymore. You're part of a team now. I completely understand, sir. Sorry, I'm late. I was uh, swimming at the beach, and uh, while I may or may not have forgotten that this was tonight. <laughs> you know, uh, Ben, you better get your mess ups in while you can, buddy. One month, buddy. Don's not gonna be having it anymore. Well. Maybe you could take me with you one of these days. We're part of a team now. Ooh. I don't see why not. <laughs> <laughs> one more one. <laughs> huh, Mary? Yep. <laughs> Thank you. 
Want to go to the beach tomorrow? The thought of going to the beach with her made me numb. I couldn't spare to lose the place that made me so happy. The place that is my own. The one piece of
Wow, what a way to start the night. Thank you for the offering, Sam. The beach in L.A. looks really nice. I've never had the pleasure of being on the beach in L.A. What is it, Cocoa Beach out there? I've heard great things, wonderful things. Something I saw in the chat was Craze TV said something about how I had a resemblance to Janie Lane of Warrant. What I remember about Janie Lane was on some VH1 has-been show, maybe Surreal TV, or what was it, Surreal Life, something like that. He was just talking about how he really regretted writing the song Cherry Pie and um, was really sad about it, and I kind of felt bad for him. I mean, he wrote a, a huge hit song. What is there to feel bad about? Anyway, what a, what a blast off to the night. Up next, we have Melinda's Late Night Talk Show by Kevin Ralston and Laura Ornella from New York City. And I believe one or both of them is joining us live right now. Let's check it out. Hi, I'm Laura Ornella, and this is Kevin Ralston, and this is Melinda's Late Night Radio Talk Show. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Melinda's Late Night Radio Show, where we have callers request tracks for special someones and tell us a little bit about where they're coming from. Callers, our lines are open, and we can't wait to hear from you. We're just waiting on that phone to ring. Well, in the meantime, let me play a track that will really What a set. great song. Didn't it really whisk you away? <laughs> well, I hate to say it, but I'm still waiting on that phone to ring. <laughs> Makes me think that maybe you all are a little shy. Connected. And let me just... Okay, no, there is a dial tone. <laughs> just no one's called. Well, I, listeners, I can assure you that you are safe here on Melinda's late night radio show. Okay, we've got a caller. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's Raj. Okay, Raj. And is there something special in your life that you're missing? Yeah, a large cheese a side of fried pickles and Swiss cheese curds with a large orange soda. Okay, well, that is a big order, Raj. But what about something more? What about someone special? Well, geez, I never really thought about it like that. Wow, Norm's House of Cheese has really changed. Raj, <laughs> what do you do for a living? I'm a mechanic, but I also teach in night school. Okay, so you teach mechanics, that's great. No, collage. You teach how to fix cars at a College. Wonderful. No, Raj. collage. Oh, you teach at the college. Teach the art of collage at a, a night school. Oh, it's, Raj. it's basically gluing things next to each other on a <laughs> piece of paper. Congratulations. That is wonderful. Come to think of it, there is something special that I want in my life. Well, someone. And who is that, Raj? You know, it's, it's funny. I... <laughs> I don't know you, but I feel like I can talk to you. I never knew the staff at Norm's House of Cheese could be so caring. This isn't Norm's House of Cheese. Her name is Randencia. Oh, what an enchanting name. I love it, actually. I love her. Wow. I um, never said that out loud before. Listeners, we've had a breakthrough on Belinda's late night radio show. Raj, that's wonderful news. Raj loves Rendencia. Beautiful. <laughs> this, this is a, a radio show? 
Raj, you're on Melinda's late night radio show and you're our first caller of the evening. Congratulations. It, or... Okay, Raj, so what's your track? I'm sorry, is this a, a Norm's House of Cheese radio show or? or... Oh, um, yeah, well, you're actually um, not calling Norm's House of Cheese. You're calling Melinda's Late Night Radio Show. Congratulations! You're our first caller. So I just proclaimed my love for someone live on a, a, a radio show. Raj, yes. Uh, this is this is a radio show, and and you <laughs> announced your love on on air. So people heard. I said this out loud on air, and people have heard it. People to, people heard me say that I I love Randencia and. You, you, that's okay, right? Is, that you did that. Randense, if you're listening, I, I, I was just kidding. I don't love you. I actually, I, I actually hate you. So, Raj. Uh, I, I think your name is stupid. Uh, what song did you want to request this evening? One last hug. Okay. Raj is going to play one last hug for his friend, Rendencia. Okay, wonderful. Thank you so much, Raj. Endure, and thank you so much, Raj. Enjoy the, enjoy the song. All right, we're back again. I did my best on that one. I was pretending I was the guitar player. I couldn't do the vocals. If one of you were here, maybe we could have worked that out, but unfortunately, none of you decided to show up tonight. I sent the address out, did everything I could. First gong of the night. The gong's not out here, unfortunately. Uh, we don't know where it is right now. We think it may have gotten lifted out of the car. Or somebody took it before it made it to the car last time we moved it. What a night so far, though. I'm loving it. Who else is loving it out there? Here, ye. Here, give me a here, ye. Give me a hand, yeah, sing. All right, up next, we have Uvula, or Uv Uvula. How do you say this word? Uvula? Uvula? I'm sorry. Uvula by James Middleton from Edmore, Michigan. I remember pulling that number out and saying, Edmore, Michigan. James, thank you for the postcard you sent recently. Much appreciated. Let's check it out. James, tell us about this. Hello there. Jim Middleton here. Greetings from Edmore already, where we bury Winsor McKay's parents and they stay buried. Tonight we're going to see what I do when I have 27 days between projects. 
This is what happens. Boy meets Guile. Guile gets jewelry. Boy dies. Guile gets a dog. It's a love story. So thank you for stopping in to look at my little uvula. And you, you young lady, you wash your hands. in the future, for that is where you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives. Wow, what a night it's been so far. I love this beautiful, relaxing area uh, that we are in. The crickets are all over the place. It's getting to be the end of summer. I feel like it just started. I hope. Hope all of you have had a great, wonderful summer with many memories. If you like what we're doing here, if you think it's important, please think about donating. Whoops. 
We want to give filmmakers and artists a platform to show their work to people who are actually watching and invested. I think that's important in this age of distraction, crazy things going on. So please, if you believe in that, just think about uh, sending, sending us a few buskers to Venmo or PayPal or even uh, become a patron of our Patreon. Be nice. Up next, we have Poltergeist by Jane Simonetti from Piedmont, California. Poltergeist. Er, oh, I'm sorry. I misread. Poltergeist, not Poltergeist. Poltergeist by Jane Simonetti. What did I say? I said, like, uh, did something. Oh yeah. Um let's rock it Jane. Let's rock it Jane. Jane, please join us live right now and tell us a little bit about Poltergeist. Thank you for everything. See you next after the next film. Hi there, my name is Jane Simonetti and I'm the director of Poltergeist and I'm so excited to share it with you. Zach, do you have the scissors? Pretty good. Yeah, just save it for later, okay? <laughs> oh, scissors, yeah. There you go. <laughs> hey, did you, um... <laughs> yeah, never mind. I think so. This place just kind of gives me the creeps. I know. It's perfect, right? Do you think we should wait until next Halloween, just until we're fully unpacked? Yes. The haunted house is tradition. Besides, we should make use of all this stuff before we throw it out. <laughs> yeah, okay. Word with you. Zach! It's okay, I'm fine. You good? How did you? Please don't hurt us. Robert, would you look what they've done with this place? It's a massacre. I'm frankly disgusted, Marge. Disgusted. Excuse me. Uh, listen up. This is private property, so leave. You must be mistaken, because we have been the proud owners of this establishment for nearly 70 years. Are we dead? No, we are. Way to rub it in, you square. Now, for the love of God, just let us be. You tell him, sweetheart. Oh my God, you're, you're that couple. You really are dead. Boo. Boo. Oh my God, Zach, you're not Oh my God, okay. 
it's such a pleasure to meet you. My name is Jess. This is my husband, Zach. Yes. Oh my god. Well, uh, thank you. Listen, your luck has turned, for I have an opportunity of a lifetime. Yes. Or, um, after lifetime. Oh, surely you don't expect us to haunt your tacky little funhouse. The haunting trope is so overdone. Oh, now don't talk to us that way. As long as you're under our roof, you'll do what we say. <laughs> 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 okay, they're mean. Like, really mean. You know, this is personal. What do we do? They're already dead. I say we scare the unliving shit out of them. Yeah. It's useless. Oh, 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 I've got that big animatronic rat. I can get Jess, it and then we Jess, can go. Baby. I'm tired. Let's go to sleep, huh? So choose. You either cooperate or we're gentrifying the fuck out of this place. Just saying that. No, no. We mean it. That was freaky. <laughs> Sweetheart, no. Don't give in. We said the same thing about cigarettes. And now look at us. Okay, fine. On one condition.
It's now or never Come hold me tight Kiss me, my darling Be mine tonight Ah, oh, shoot. Sorry. I don't... I don't do this much anymore. I don't play guitar that much anymore for the sake of playing songs. But this nice, relaxing area, this nice spot, has inspired me to get the guitar out and just play. Thank you all for joining us tonight. I think it's been a good night, maybe the best night yet. Then it's like, it was just like that. Then it goes. All right, up next we have Noise Machine by J.F. Tannen from Westfield, New Jersey. And I believe JF is joining us live right now. JF, please introduce this film and stay till the end or else your IP address will be sold overseas. Hi, Scream It Off Screen uh, Film Fest. I am JF Tannen. Um, this is an introduction for my film Noise Machine. I'm not really no, I'm not really sure what to say for this introduction, so um, I'm gonna throw a green screen of a wacky skeleton um, up for your enjoyment. So yeah, have fun.
Hello, everybody. We are back here in the relaxing environment. I just wanted to try a little experiment tonight. I think the mood is right, and we are in the good, beautiful place for that. We just missed it. Yeah, dang it. All right. Let's try this experiment. Please, um, let's get the camera to our focus here. Okay, let's do that one first. Here we go. Okay, so that's one. Okay. And it looks, yep, that's, I think that's what I was kind of thinking. Maybe that helps. Okay, uh, now I'll do the second one if people are okay with moving on. Um... Or, you know what, maybe we'll do the second one next time. <coughs> so I think I'm going to hold off on the second experiment right now. And we're going to just go on to the next film. 
you know, we got some films to get through tonight. It's been wonderful <laughs> so far. I know I keep saying that, but really I do feel like tonight has been very wonderful, especially um, uh, compared to, you know, what happened um, the last few times. We won't get into details here. But, oh, you know what? I had also like to extend the invite to the online audience to the Harvest um, the Harvest Fest next uh, next show I said this at the online or at the in person show at the Parkway Theater we're gonna have people send in covers of them doing Neil Young songs and whoever does what we think is the best one we'll be able to perform uh, the song live at the theater show but for this online show if you send your cover video in maybe we'll play it before the show for the Harvest Fest so that's that up next we have The Pipe Slayer by Jacob DeLeon from Kansas City, Missouri I've been to Kansas City Jacob, please tell us what The Pipe Slayer is about, but please don't tell us too much of what it's about, because we'd like to um, get that from the film, first and foremost. Old brain, look at my life, I'm a lot like you. Hi, my name is Jacob DeLeon. I wrote and directed the short film The Pipe Slayer. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. You must be the plumber. Yep, that's me. I'm a plumber. Uh, cool. Well, do you want to come in and check it out? I mean, if you've got a leak, I can take a peek. I've definitely got a leak, so you can come on in. It's in the kitchen. Oh, I see the problem. You got major blockage in a P-trap. Is that something you can fix to do? Ma'am, do you live alone? Yeah, I live by myself. What in tarnation? Yo, what the fuck, man? You can't be in here. I need help. This man is trying to kill me. He came into my house. Please come. My address is 122 Elmwood Boulevard. Oh my god, please hurry! Oh shit!
All right, we are back again, and we are going to do experiment two. But before I start the experiment, I want to open up my personal phone number so you can call in and let us know if you have differing opinions of what you hear on this show or if you have something to say about your favorite film tonight. Um, please just have something nice to say or something really horrible to say, I guess. Whatever, as long as you have something to say. So please call in, and then um, I'm going to start this second experiment if we can. Well, what's go <coughs> can we get a camera on the <coughs> second one? Who's going to call in, huh? Who's going to call in? Anybody? Oh, jeez. Maybe my thing isn't even... Did you put my thing, my number up? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So if no one has anything to say, I think I'm going to start the second experiment. If uh, someone wants to call in during this, you can, but I won't guarantee we're going to answer. All right, here goes the second experiment. Ready? Five, four, three, two. Last off, baby. Hmm, interesting. And now, could we move over to this one again? I wanna, I wanna expound on this experiment. I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Okay. That's. It's about what I expected. It really is. All right, if you're enjoying uh, these experiments and these short films, you know, please uh, consider throwing a few buskers to the Venmo or PayPal of Scream It Off Screen. We'd really appreciate it. We're trying to give a place for these filmmakers and creators to show their work to an audience who actually cares in a world that is becoming I don't even know the right word more like that there we go That's uh, Timothy Schmidt, not to be confused with Timothy B. Schmidt. The uh, 19, I think it was 1962 hit, All I Won't Be There in the Morning. Um, check it out. Lesser known, lesser known artist. All right, up next, we have Strangest Feeling by Thomas G. Leary from... Colorado. So, Thomas, if you're in Colorado, please join us live right now. Thomas? Hey, hey, be there, Kay. I won't be there in the morning. Hey, everybody, I'm Thomas Leary with Mule Dog Records' YouTube channel, and I'd like to present to you one of my new music videos. 
a Halloween dance number called Strangest Feeling. This is that one, that creep song. You can't do that one. That's all over, all over the internet. Well, what a, w- what a wonderful night it's been. No one wanted to call in, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and uh, read what the latest thing on the chat is. Silent Majority, I saw by Mary Dan. The number's disconnected. Oh. Um, I guess if you want, Terry, Terry, now is not the time for solemn silence. I request the first bar of taken care of business. Okay, Dan. You get up every morning to the lamb's clock, won't take the eighth. 
fifteen into the city. There's a whistle up above and people pushing, people shoving, and the girls who try to look pretty. And if you train's on time, you can get to work by nine and stop your slaving time to get your pay. I guess that's more than the first bar. Sorry, I was really getting into that one. All right, I'll read a few more uh, chats, I guess, since my phone is disconnected. Maybe we'll put my other number up. Uh, at Wow, this is crazy. Meow Mix. How old, Terry? Uh, I'll let you figure that out. TCB, baby, that's right. Sweet 16. Terry age? Yeah, Sam. 16 sounds good to me. I still feel like I'm 12. Can we get a Halloween special? All horror submissions? Uh, we don't follow Halloween around here just because it's sort of a uh, a pagan um, holiday associated with devil worship. Okay, hello. Stream it off screen. Howdy, sir. Howdy. Are you actually in Texas? Uh, no, but I was born there, and I uh, spent my first 12 years of life there. Oh, interesting. Uh, it's pretty fun when uh, when you're, you're, you're that young. Wait a second. Is this... Collide on cows all day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, I actually moved away from Texas because I, I rode my neighbor's cow um, off, off like, a, like a big old cliff, and uh, they, they lassoed me and, and flung me into another state. Um, so that, that's wow. where I reside right now. They flung me into uh, New Jersey. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah, sorry, no time for sob stories. I, I just want to say... Um, I really enjoy calling um, open stations and just just telling them uh, really false information. But I respect you enough that I do not want to do that. Well, thank you for being respectful. Yes, I respect you and I respect your craft. Um, I, I like all these close-up shots that they were doing earlier. I don't I don't know if they've been doing it or if they've been doing it recently, but I like those close-up shots on your shirtless body. Um, okay. Well, we'll let we'll let the crawler know to uh, keep doing those shots. I'm sorry, my, my dog is barking. It's all right. Our dog uh, got outside and almost attacked some some other dogs a little bit ago. That was pretty scary. All right. Sorry. Bye. Bye bye. I'll, I'll sum up. I'll last one. All right. Sounds good. Bye bye. All right. Who's next? Hello. This is Terry. Yeah. Terry, what's up? It's Clem from Work Productions. Oh, hey. Hey, man, I'm not going to ask you the penis question today. I just wanted to say you're doing a good job. All right. Hey, thanks a lot. Yep. Um, have a good one. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hello? Hi. I'm enjoying screaming off screen right now. How are you? Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it too. I think it's probably the best one yet. I think it's pretty good. I'm, a, I'm number 11. So I'm the wild card, and I am very excited. We are all enjoying watching our host without a shirt, me and my entire family. So it's going pretty well. Great, wonderful. Yeah, well, there was no um, – oftentimes we have a uh, shirt or something for me, but this time there was nothing set up. Uh, Everything's packed I mean, away. Call the shirt guy. Where's your shirt guy? Where's your shirt guy? Well, it's actually a shirt woman, but – Oh, my bad. Uh, she's my been bad. kind of out of the picture – uh, recently, and things okay, okay. are still in storage, so okay, hope. So what I'm hearing is there's a position open. Um, possibly for the the theater show. Where are you located? Uh, I'm in. I, I might be a little far. I'm just in uh, maybe Rockville, Maryland. But uh, so I'm a little far. But I can make the commute. I can get you a shirt. I know at least three people who own shirts. Okay. At least at most. <laughs> Well, just email us with all your job uh, descriptions and your resume and all that, and uh, we'll Good. get back My to you. My resume is one word. It's just shirt, period, times New Roman. All right. Hear ye. Well, send, uh, just send it anyway. Okay, okay, cool. I, I could even send you my shirt. Sounds good. I love it. See you later. Right. I'll give you my sh uh, thing. I'll give you it. I okay, love you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I love you too. Bye. Bye. Hello? Who is it? 
Hello. Hey, what you doing? <laughs> what am I doing? You on you on the show, bro? Yeah, I am. It's been good tonight. You're doing a damn good job. Good, thank you. Who's this? It's Carpenter Barker. You shot down my Halloween special idea, yeah, but. Oh, yeah, well, you know, it's a lot of things have come out about the history of Halloween the last few years, and we just can't be doing that. Educate me. What's going on with Halloween? I just really don't think this is the time and place to get into it. You're the man. All Make right. Safe, sir. All right, sounds good. I'll, I'll talk to you. Or I'll know. see you tonight. Thank you. I'll see you tonight. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Well, this has been really nice. Hey, the get the dog... Natalie, the dogs, get her get her out of here. So, yeah, Lucy uh, got loose a little bit ago, and there were two big dogs, and she ran over, and Crawler had to go after Lucy to stop it, and there was some growling, and it could have been a bad situation if uh, someone didn't get down there. So thanks to Crawler. Let's get on to the next film. Sorry. Up next, we have... Strangest Feeling? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mark it off. We already did Strangest Feeling. Up next, we have The Messenger by Jessica Whitney Love from Overland Parks, Kansas. And I believe Jessica is joining us live right now. Jessica, are you there? Oh, shoot. Hi, my name is Jessica Love, and you're about to watch my short film, The Messenger. It's about a little dragon who gets his dream job, but encounters more than what he bargained for when he gets to it. It's inspired off of my own experiences when I worked at my dream company. And it's a short film that I had created for my senior year at college. And hopefully that you guys enjoy it, given that it's my first short film and my first animated short film. So I hope you all enjoy it. Have a good night.
The dog. The dog. Can you hear me? Why is there no sound? Is there sound? Oh, okay. There was sound. Well, I didn't even want to talk about this. Shout, shout, let it all out. These are the things I can do without, so come on. I'm talking to you, so come on. Sorry about this freeze up. The dog, Lucy, Stephen Kubiak said uh, the name should be spelled L O O S. Would it be E Y or Y? I don't know. It should be spelled Lucy because she got loose. Well, she's up to no good again. She hit the Ethernet cord, and I think that might have been what caused the freeze up. But regardless, we're back, baby. And someone's calling me. I guess I'll just answer. It's from Marsh. Oh, shit. Sorry, missed it. <coughs> uh, here it is again. Hello, Scream It Off Screen. Hey. Is this. What? I said I'm happy the stream's back on. Oh, yeah, that was a close one. Yeah, I have a dog at home, too, that she gets into trouble sometimes. Yeah, well, I guess they don't know any better, right? No, you have a nice dog, by the way. She is pretty nice. I think she's had some uh, emotional scarring the last few years. Um, yeah. But, yeah, she's she's nice, nice with people, nice with kids, but... Certain dogs she just doesn't like, and she wants to kill them. <laughs> yep, my, uh, my dog was in the same situation, and most of the time it's great, but there's a few little instances where it's like, yep, it's uh, you're going back in the house. Yeah. Has your dog ever like actually almost killed a dog before? No, no, okay. it's a tiny one. She's oh, okay. No, uh, it, it, it has a lot of bark, but no bite. Okay. Is, is it submissive? <laughs> to me, yes. And my wife, yes. Would it be to, like, a dog? I don't know. Because if, I mean, it sounds like the kind of dog that Lucy would love to just grab its neck and get it on the ground, <laughs> unfortunately. You know, you know, if my wife was around, no, just kidding, just no, kidding. No, I'm not saying I want that. I, I do not want that at all. No, I don't want her to attack any dogs. I think that's bad. Yeah. Um, but she's got some, you know, some killer instinct in her or something. I don't freaking know. Yep. We are? I was. I've been told we're losing viewers. I guess so. I, we got to stop talking about this. Okay, bye. All right. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I'm here. Who are you? Um, this is Nat. Um, I I'm watching um the whole program. Oh, nice. Mhm. Mm What's your favorite film so far? Um. Well, I really like the spunk that Poltergeist had, and that was pretty good. Um, and then I love the weirdness of, uh, oh my goodness, uh, noise machine. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. You're going to stay till the end, right? I plan to, unless, like, the internet goes out or something. Okay. So, maybe on the third time the internet goes out, three strikes, you're out rule? <laughs> maybe, but either which way, I'm really enjoying the program, man. Okay, very good. Well, thank you so much for uh, calling in and watching, and uh, mm -hmm. talk to you later, I guess. Yeah, later. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Wow, what a great night it's been. Beautiful. <laughs> beautiful call-ins. Beautiful people. And beautiful films. Speaking of, it's time for the next. It is The Messenger. Or, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not marking these off. Up next, we have Pop by Brandon Victoriano from Santa Cruz, California. Love Santa Cruz, man. I uh, love the. 
don't they have um like little stands on the street or something i don't know um I, yeah anyway i love that kind of stuff uh so brandon please uh let us or introduce pop if you'd like to live we love that shout shout let it all out these are the things we can do without so come on hi uh, my name is brandon victoriano i am the director of the short film pop and i made this film in my senior exit class graduating out of uc santa cruz so i hope you all enjoy and uh thank you so much Hey, honey, how's the balloons coming? They're coming. Gosh, you didn't even done with that like an hour ago. I didn't get as much work done as I wanted fine, to this week. Fine, so. fine, fine, fine. Uh, Garrett and Trader should be here soon. I got some more snacks. If you could just put them on the table when you get the chance. Uh, yeah, in a second. I gotta do a couple more of these. Claire, the party starts in less than an hour. The room is still a mess. There's still dirty dishes in the sink. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, where'd you put the cake? You did get the cake, right? The one for Mallory. Okay. Like a... So, uh, where'd you put the cake? Fridge. Nope. Check the one upstairs. Nope. Are you sure you actually got the cake? You know how forgetful you can get. Yes, yes, I told you a million times. Help you. It's, it's, it's fine. No, I'll just cut some. I, I don't need your help. Okay. Fine. Whatever. really need tonight. Hey, uh, I'm really sorry. Do you... Let's, let's just have some fun tonight, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, let's have some fun tonight. Damn 
damn it, Claire, you literally had one job. Oh, I can't trust you to do anything. I'm so I? sorry. I, I must have forgotten. No shit, Claire! It's an ice cream cake. Ice cream melts. That's why you put it in the fucking freezer. I know, and I'm sorry. God, son of a bitch! All right, chill! How about you chill the fucking cake next time? God. I said I was sorry. I had work yesterday. They moved up the deadline and I forgot. Oh, oh you forgot. Yes, it's I fine forgot. then. It's fine. God. It's making room in the freezer. I took out the pizza pockets. Oh, and... Were you eating pizza pockets? Yes. Son, I couldn't yes. tell with all the wrappers on the floor. Laura. Thank you for all you've done. We're having tons of fun with you in our Patreon. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura, for becoming a patron of the Patreon. We really appreciate it. We're going to check out some watch party photos now of people who have not donated anything tonight. Please uh, send some donations if you enjoy what we're doing here tonight in this beautiful, relaxing environment. So thankful to be here tonight and do something a little bit different. Always fun to mix it up. New Jersey. Hello? 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 I can hear you. You can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Is this the show? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we're looking Am at watch. I chilling on the show right now. Yeah, you are. We're looking at watch party photos. I can't really see them. Hello, but... in TV land. Yeah, you're on TV. Oh my God! Hi, mom. Even though she's not watching right now, she's asleep. Did you know that it's my birthday tomorrow? No, I didn't. How old are you gonna be? The big two one. Oh wow! 21. Holy, holy buckets! Yeah, I figured yeah. it was twenty one. You think so? No, just because you said the big two one, and then you said oh, twenty one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah. um, so are you gonna like get wasted or no? I might. I might not. I was gonna ask, you know, what kind of what life advice do you have for someone who's about to turn twenty one? Um, I think it depends on the kind of person you are. I think it's hard to hard to say. I would say, well, here's here's a good um thing i think to think about you know i think a lot of people this was my experience anyway a lot of people a lot of older adults around me would say oh you got plenty of time to figure it out you know you got plenty of time to do this you got plenty of time to do that and what i'll say is no i don't think we do um i think uh, you wow. got you got to use your time wisely and i think uh i definitely have some huge regrets about how i've spent my time in the past so that's what I would say going into uh, your 20s. Just um, really think about how you're spending your time and if it's really what you want to be doing. Amen, I guess. Yeah, I mean, take it take it or leave it, you know. Yeah. I mean, take it take it however you want to take that. Well, that's cool because I'm, cause I'm drawing right now, too. I'm not, I'm not trying to waste a day. Cool. But I appreciate that. Okay, wonderful. Are you an animator? I'm trying to be. I submitted, I submitted something a couple months ago. Okay. But I've just, I've been a fan ever since. Oh, cool. Well, thank you. Thanks for, yeah. uh, thanks for watching. Thank just you so much. Just so you know, much. I didn't dong the last one. I thought it was very good. Okay. Okay, good to yeah. know. I f yeah, I was kind of thinking you did. No. Absolutely not. All right. Well, that's wonderful. Um, have yourself a happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, my birthday was a few weeks ago now. Oh, happy so, birthday. Yeah, summer birthdays. Yeah. Are you a Leo? Yeah. Nice. Nice. I'm a little biased, but that's a good zodiac. Yeah, it is what it is. 
All right. Well, I'll see you later. It's good talking with you. <laughs> you have fun. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. All right. Thanks for sending us watch party photos. Thank you very much. Send a few buskers if you're enjoying the uh, the show tonight. It's been a good night. Up next, well, this is the 10th film of the night, so we're getting to the end. Up next, we have Perfect Guy by Pamela Ruth Moore from Chicago, Illinois. Thank you so much, Pamela, for tuning in all the time and submitting and being a part of uh, what we're doing here. And I, I do want to mention, too, we didn't coordinate this, but... Uh, Pamela's involved with a cool project where they're they're taking short films. It sounds like pretty much anything that you make. There's a there's a time limit, I believe, um, but they're taking just anything and they're going to have some sort of like storefront. I don't completely understand how it all works, but all of you who submitted tonight, I assume, can probably submit to this too, and people can just watch your stuff. So. Another opportunity to show your stuff to people who actually might care about it. Um, and we'll sit down and watch it. So, Pamela, I, I, I know I saw you in the chat. I assume you're still here since your film is in. Just um, give people some information on that. I know you can go to Pamela's Instagram and probably find some more information. But anyway, just want to let people know. Another opportunity for people to share their work with people who will probably watch it. So that's always wonderful. Anyway, perfect guy, Pamela, introduced this film from Chicago, Illinois. The city that used to be on the ocean. Hello, Scream Team. This is Pamela Maurer from Chicago. Here with my friend Zoltar to introduce my new music video, Perfect Guy, starring the amazing band Bev Rage and the Drinks. Enjoy!
Wake up! Wake up! I had the worst dream. You were there, and you were there, and someone else was there, and... It's my party and I'll cry if I want to Cry if I want to Cry if I want to You would cry too if it happened to you That one was for you who called in from New Jersey. If you want to cry tomorrow, you can. It's fine. That song was the first song, or one of the first songs that um, Quincy Jones produced. All right, we got some announcements about merchandise. I'm trying to spin my pen at the same time. I guess I can't do both. <laughs> all right, so we got the commemorative T-shirt tonight. It's uh, you know it's got all the filmmakers and the film titles on the back. So get that one so you never forget tonight. Because trust me, in about a week you'll probably forget all about tonight, just like you forgot about last Friday and the Friday before that, Friday before that, the month before that. Etc. Etc. We've also got other exciting merch on there, like the Baby Screaming Collection, and also uh, the Screaming Off Screen First Annual Sourdough Extravaganza T-shirt. We had that Sourdough Extravaganza at the Parkway Theater a few months ago, and that was a great time. And at the last theater show, I had the people who took some of my sourdough starter home and did not bring back a loaf like we agreed upon. I had um, I opened the stage up for people to come up and apologize, and a few people did, and I appreciate that. Uh, Chess and Dane, thank you both so much for apologizing for your your wrongdoing, and they got handsomely rewarded for doing that. So if you if you need to apologize in your life, and it's not going to get you in prison, you know. Um, I'd say it's a good thing. That's what we're trying to teach here. Respect and apologies and getting merch from Scream It Off Screen so you never forget about it. Oh, it looks like someone's calling. Should we answer? Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky. Hello. Hey, what's going on, man? Here we are again. We're here. Yeah, baby. We're, we're live on there. You know, you were talking about apologies, and I just had to apologize. I've been... I've been I've been trolling the chat a little bit, and uh, you know people think that I've been spamming you, and I, I I highly apologize for that. This is a great show. Okay, great. You're Alex. Yeah, yeah. My name is Alex. That that is what they call me. Sorry, I might be a little intoxicated. I don't know if that's illegal for this show. Okay, Alex. well, I mean, I'm we're not the authorities here. We're not trying to put anyone behind bars. <laughs> we're not trying to do any of that. So no, um, I know. Well, really, I wanted to call because there was a there was a guy from Texas that called that was really uh, impressed with your nipples, and I also had to call to compliment your nipples. And I wanted. I don't think he was impressed with my nipples. I think he just made a comment about me having my shirt off, and he liked that. I don't think he said anything oh, about the nipples. Oh, you know, deep down, he was really impressed with your nipples. That's what it was. Okay. Uh, could you hear that? <laughs> could you hear that in his voice? Are you a mind reader? Yeah, I could hear it. I could hear it. And and whoever did the tight shove of your nipples just now read his mind as well. So, you know, kudos to your camera guy. All right. Yeah, Crawler's doing a good job tonight. <laughs> I'm just I'm just fucking around, man. I apologize. I thought you this were I thought you were dead serious. No. See, there's the nipple. There it is. I like it. That's it. <laughs> I'm not being serious. I'm just messing with you. I'm a goof. I'm a goofy guy. What can I say? <coughs> oh, there it is. That's the cue. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of this wild show because honestly, I do think it's a good. It's a good show. Yeah, best one yet. It, no, it really is. I I really enjoy it. I think 
I sincerely, I think it's a, I think it's a good, a good program. I cool. had no idea this thing even existed. So cool, Alex. Well, thanks. You, Terry. Come up, come up sometime and come to the theater show. It's the first try every month. Where is it located? It's in uh, Minneapolis. Oh, sweet. That's not too far from me. <coughs> Minnesota. <laughs> Six hour drive, but you know what? I'll do it. All right. Well, yeah. Come next month. We're gonna do the Harvest Fest, and hopefully, someone, no one has sent in a Neil Young cover yet. So we're looking for that, but uh, we should have a Neil Young performance at that show. Will it be better than Neil Young? That's I don't know. We'll see. It. Someone's got to send some videos in. I doubt okay. it, but, like, you know, we'll see what we get. You're right. We'll, 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 we'll see what we get. All right. All right. I'll, I'll try to come up there. No, I'll thanks so come, much. Yeah, I hope to see you there. Yeah, for sure. See All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, so that's... Um, that's an invitation to everybody out there who's watching. If you live close to Minneapolis, Minnesota, or even really far away, um, come make the drive to the show the first Friday of September. We had the Harvest Fest, and in addition to this Neil Young cover performance by some unknown individual, Screamy will be there, and King will be there, and maybe even something else very special. <coughs> Sorry, I got this cough. <coughs> <laughs> All right, <coughs> just get through, buddy. Just get through, buddy. All right, we've got the next. We've we've got um, one more film left. It's the wild card film. I know you called in earlier, so we're gonna freaking play it. Thanks f so much to all of you filmmakers for sticking with us. The ones who did stick with us, your IP addresses are safe after this film. So uh, let's um, let's watch it. It is Not Quite Quarantine by Julian Lee from Rockville, Maryland. Let's Rockville, Maryland, Jamesy. Let's rock it, Rockville. Let's rock it, Rockville. <coughs> Hello, Scream It Off Screen. Oh my goodness, if you guys are seeing this video, that means we did it. We did it. We've successfully made it into the show. We broke in. Please, we need to find Screamy and tell him. I've been told he was still missing. Anyway, thank you guys so much for, you know, selecting my film, Not Quite Quarantine. It displays the struggles and the mental health problems that I fe featured in the pandemic in a very fun light. So, have a good time. Subscribe to Purple Hoodie Productions, and I'll see you guys later. Please don't gong it. Ah! I can't do this anymore. Ah! 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 This is all your fault. Ah! 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 Can't be done. Oh, I can't do it. Why? Why? It's been so. Hey, are you watching more Screaming Goat vi- What's wrong? We've been stuck inside for like a year! Yeah. And all my friends are in college and they keep going to parties, none of which they've invited me to. Yeah. And I keep eating all of the toilet paper still and I- What? Ah! Alright. I'm gonna need you to reword everything that you just said because I got none of that. All right, all right, all right. It's been a year and we're still in some kind of lockdown and everybody's going out in the world like it's safe. Like numbers are still going up in certain places. We can't be doing this. So you're upset that we're in a quarantine? Well, not quite. But lockdown hasn't even been that bad. Hold on, not that bad. Not that bad. Oh, you know what, let me give you a recap. No, that's not necessary. Too late.
It was the peak of 2020. I was finally making money. Senior year was great. I even had a prom date. Was leading in the musical and had my moves with that. Jumping over hurdles with me and my friends intact. Kicking it with my crew. Hanging out all the time. Laying back. Walking dogs. Sending states. Spitting rhyme. Life was looking good. Smiling with no doubts. Like I was at the supermarket because girls were checking me out. But know this. We got the notice from the district. Some of our senior year. We have to miss it. Thought we got a break. So we partied to the peak. I looked back at my boys and said, see you in a week. <laughs> Two weeks turned to four, then weeks turned to months. Now I wish I said bye to my business out. Spring, summer, winter, fall. And now I got no idea what day it is at all. We're in a not quiet quarantine. I don't know what to do. I'm getting real bored just sitting in my room. I'm allowed to leave the house without a mask, but I just look around and go, man, I don't trust that. We're in a not quiet quarantine. I don't know what to do. I'm getting real bored just sitting in my room. It's like we're stuck in a movie, but time it ain't moving. With all the plot holes, I just want the credits to roll. Well, when you're locked down, there's not much to do. So I've tried. Tried everything to fix my mood. Tried baking banana bread, then turned the oven up more. Then learned how to use a fire extinguisher. Sub to Netflix just to get by. Watching anime dramas and Tiger Kings. Oh my! Try reading a book that people were suggesting. Then get a good night's rest in. Have my grandma call when I want to slack off or overanalyze anytime I call. Watch an old show, try to stay consistent. Then complain that people ain't socially distant. I'm just saying that's not safe. I tried to go out and exercise, but then I got a Travis Scott with some extra fries. Got the bucket and a brush paint to feel alive. I even hit the street to learn how to drive. Why do you drift to the middle of the road all the time? You gotta stop doing that. Don't break hard. It should feel smooth. I should like, I, I, I should even feel when you're breaking. Thought about texting my ex. Yeah, but that'll end in a mess. See, my social skills have gone down the drain because I can't remember anybody's name. No, 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 I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it. Like Jamal? No, 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 Tyrone, Tyrone, Tyrone. No, 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 Ramsey, Raheem? Come on, no, 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 no. Dude, I've been your neighbor for like eight years, man. My name is Connor. Yeah, I don't think that's right. Devonte. Now I still think about cleaning up my room, but within five, I'm already watching YouTube. I might keep getting my dogs to talk or turn towards the time to take up TikTok. Y'all ready for this? You gotta get them with the, uh, I'm a savage and there's the renegade. Y'all know nothing about rolling in the deep end. I am a castaway. Whoa, whip. Okay, yo, Addison, call me. We're in a not quite quarantine. I don't know what to do. I'm getting real bored just sitting in my room. I think the chicks at my school started staying safe early because they've always stayed six feet away from me. Wait. We're in a not quite quarantine. I don't know what to do. I'm getting real bored just sitting in my room. My whole class been locked down to sickness of fiend. I guess you could say we're still some teens in quarantine. Oh my goodness, I think I'm going crazy. My broken sleep schedule's got me feeling hazy, but it's fine. There's no reason to ask for help. Though I do have full on conversations with my you should get that checked out. Hey, don't tell me what to do, but I'm literally you. What do you want me to do? How about be productive and quit complaining about this? Or we could play a game about fish? So, my controller in hand, plugging in real fast. I've been crossing up on animals, switching up how I smash. No imposters among us, never played fall guys, but mom's concerned because I don't go outside. Hey, Julian. How long have you been down here? No, 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 no. Mom, you just ruined, you just ruined my focus. Bro, this is so annoying. This is not Pog. This is not an epic gamer moment. Oh, listen, by you coming down here, you messed up my whole flow, okay? Now I have to restart and go back to the spawn point. I'm pretty sure Hero Brian has just teamed up with Jeff Cringe and Tom Nook's trying to make me pay. Like, I got that cash. No, can you just, can you just be quiet? Can you just turn around and leave? Like, I'm busy. Can you mute yourself? Can you do that? Hey, yo, what's up, Daquan? I need Connor. Nah, that's not right. Lockdown, but there's no two hour delays. Class still in session with zero snow days. I'm hoping I get back to school real soon. Cause I can't stand Zoom breakout rooms. Game stop, stop gaming, and Regal's been dethroned. So many stores closing, the streets are looking alone. Wondering without me if the world runs well. So I turn on the news for a show and tell. Look how you're spreading misinformation yeah, spreading right no now. Mis Just let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Can I talk? Okay, Can you know I talk? talk? I apologize. I apologize. <sighs> Look, all I'm saying is, right. maybe the Trix Rabbit should be able to eat some cereal. No, they are for kids. Well, we don't you know that, though. So. No, you don't know what you're talking about.
My friends are all gone, I made it with no prom I can't travel anywhere and big crowds make me scared Gotta stay safe, but the future looks confusing It's like no matter what I do, I just keep losing Losing, losing, losing. Hey, I, I think I get it Listen, I know things have been hard for you And you miss your friends And believe me, I miss mine too But things are getting better And you don't have to readjust at everyone's pace Instead of fighting against the pandemic Work with it and find ways to connect with people and get your life back. Because your friends miss you and the world misses you. And I am getting sick of you and you need to leave the house. Do you really mean that? Of course I do. Awkward sibling hug? Awkward sibling hug. Pat, Pat. All right. Let's do this. We're in a knock wide quarantine, I got something to do. Don't have to be alone when you can chill with the crew. I got shots with side effects to see my friends to make sure this summer never ends. We're in a knock wide quarantine, I got something to do. Don't have to be alone cause I can chill with the crew. Had to get my whole squad in on this, so now let's break down the chorus. We're in a knock quite, a knock quite, a knock quite, a knock quite quarantine. Uh, here we, go. we in a knock quite, a knock quite, a knock quite, a knock quite quarantine. In we in a knock quite, a knock quite, a knock quite, a knock quite quarantine. We in a knock quite, a knock quite, a knock quite, a knock quite quarantine. Sorry, sorry, Grandma B, listen, I said I was sorry, okay? It was just for a bit in the video. All right now, you better not hang up on me this time or else I'm gonna get my shoe. Grandma B, you're like 700 miles away, okay? I love you, I gotta go. E. How? All right, we're back again. We've watched all the films. Pick your favorite. You're going to have about three minutes to vote. While you're voting, once you finish, uh, donate a few bucksters to us if you enjoyed the show tonight. Keep it going strong. Come to the in-person show at the Parkway Theater the first Friday, or, yeah, the first Friday of September next month if you can make it. I don't care how far away you are. Great night. I'm very excited to see who gets third, who gets second, and who gets first. All right, so with that, let's do it. Let's rock it, Jamesy. Who's going to do it? Problem with the poll should be fixed now, so go vote.
All right, we are back again. Uh, I'm going to try to add some music to this to keep the energy level up. I know it's past two hours, and past two hours, things start getting a little, uh, I don't know, people like to leave, I guess. Could you give me that pick, please, Mr. Crawler? The, p the purple thing? Thanks. All right, uh, things were very close tonight. Very exciting. In third place. The first film of the night. Pursuit of a Jigsaw by Sam Mizrahi Powell from Los Angeles, California. Congrats, Sam. That was a really wild start to the night. I think... Uh, Really set things off right. And you place in the top three because of it. All right. <clears throat> in second place, some do say that second is the best. What I say is talk to first place and then see. was the film we just saw by Julian Lee. Not quite quarantine from Rockville, Maryland. Let's rock it, Maryland. <clears throat> Congratulations. Good job. Nice talking with you on the phone earlier. I hope you make it to the Parkway show on the first Friday of September, and I hope you submit this one. You can submit to the in-person show, the same ones that you submit to the online show. So some of you online people who live hours away by plane and by car, please consider submitting and coming next month. That would be wonderful to see you. All right, here we go. Last, last one here. Last announcement. It is first place for this, this big grand prize here. Could we cut to that? Uh, the check. Cut to the check. Cut to the check. Uh, f so we got first place. We got this giant check here to give out. All right. In first place. <coughs> the winner of the August online Scream It Off Screen.
is Poltergeist by Jane Simonetti from Piedmont, California. Try something a little bit different tonight. <coughs> we'll see if I can get it. Um. Well, we'll try it there. Oh, shoot. All right, here we go. Let me start again. Shoot. Okay. It is so well. I knew you would. I could tell. I could tell. <coughs> I got it the other day. <coughs> I could tell. <coughs> Fuck this. I'll just do it on the guitar. We'll take that out another day. I'll I'll work on that and maybe next month I'll have it down. But tonight's not the night. Let's try this. You did so well. I knew you would. I could tell from the start that you would do great things. Now don't go and spend it All in one place Everyone loves you Yes they do Jane Because You're the winner Of the show And now you'll go And do something Wonderful In your community <coughs> So go But don't forget What happened here tonight For it was a gift so don't take this award lightly. No, don't. Because in your dreams Thank you all so much for tuning in. What a night it's been. <coughs> in this nice little beautiful space. Thanks so much to all the filmmakers for submitting. Giving this show the spirit that it is, that it has, that I hope it retains over the months, over the years over the beers with good friends and good times over at Cheers good work Jane <coughs> I've heard Piedmont is a nice place
to live, to work, to raise a family, to eat at restaurants, just to generally have a good time. Yes, you did it. Yes, you did it. I knew you would. Oh, I knew you could. Never stop what you're doing unless it's negative to you. You need to figure these things out before it's true. I never thought I'd be under a rock sitting alone here. Thank you all again for tuning in. There's still time to donate. You can actually donate anytime you want. You can donate today or tomorrow or even next week if you want. It's always open. Anything helps keeping this show alive, keeping the dog Lucy out of trouble. We just couldn't have the attention on her tonight that we needed to to keep her out of trouble. (coughs) 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 Now it's time for me to rest, recuperate. Get some R&R. Get better. I don't know where we're going to be next month or if we'll even be here next month, but I guess when has that ever changed? Here today, gone tomorrow, right? You never know what could happen. So what do you think? Should we try it again here next month at this relaxing uh, spot? If it's available, or should we go do it somewhere else? Or (coughs) I think that about does it for tonight. What an end it was. Someone wants to call in, we can end it with a call, and um, I think that'll do it. I gotta be up early tomorrow. Gotta be up around um, 5, 5.15, maybe 5.30 is okay. I don't know, we'll see. Don't tell, just don't tell, uh, don't tell the kids, okay? You know. All right, crawler, could you give me the phone? <coughs> One more call, please. Just one more call. All right. Who is this? Marshall, Minnesota. This is familiar. 
Hello, is this the same? This is. You nice. guys ever think about, does it have to be in the cities? You said change locations. Yeah, I think I said something about that. Oh, uh, I was going to say you could come down to Marshall and shoot it down here. Wait a second, who is this? This is Ryan. Oh, hey, Ryan. We did the... Yes, I know. I rem No, I remember you. Don't. Yeah, you don't have to... I, I remember you. Yes, oh. yes, yes, of course. If you were ever looking for a new place, <coughs> or uh, uh, like a one-off show, we could find you a place down there. Interesting, okay. Well, yeah, we'll think about that for sure. Are you Are you guys still doing the uh, the videos? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we still... We do a weekly one, and then we do like a... Yeah, we do a special one every once in a while. Cool, okay. What's the... I mean, is there anything you guys want people to watch or anything you want to yeah. promote right now? Yeah, check us out on a popcorn bucket list on Omni Entertainment on YouTube. Okay, and I mean, what like generally, what do you do? We review movies that are coming out to the theaters. So basically, anything new that's coming to theaters, we put them, we talk about them on our show. Cool. Yeah, so if you ever need a little location change, we're, we got plenty of unique opportunities for you. Okay, well, yeah, we'll definitely think about that for sure. And we'll <coughs> provide free pizza, too. We got the Red Baron, we got it all. Oh, wow. Do you have uh, uh, that, uh, what is that, f Seven Corners or Five, What is it Seven Corners? Uh, Seventh Avenue or Seventh Avenue Pizza? No, it's something Corners, like Five Corners uh -huh. or Seven Corners or something. You know what? Well, I don't think we have it, but we can get it for you. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, it was a great show. We enjoyed it. We had a blast. Wonderful. And you and also, you guys should come up for the, the theater show sometime. Yeah, uh, August 2nd, right? Next week or the first Wednesday oh. or first Friday? Yes, first September Friday. 2nd. So I think September. Is it September yeah. 2nd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah September <coughs> So yeah, blast up and uh, submit something. You'll definitely be in if if you submit. So. Okay, cool. We'll we'll definitely we'll we'll try to get some good in for you. Cool. Well, thank you, Ryan. All right. Well, you guys have a good night. Thanks. You too. Thanks for calling. See you, buddy. Bye, bye. Hello. Hello. Hey, Terry. Yeah, this is me. Who's this? Hey, this is Sam, the director of Pursuit of a Jigsaw. Oh, wonderful. Hey, how's it going? Oh, uh, good. Good. <laughs> how how are you doing? Did you call earlier or no? Yes. I thought yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, we're here. We're sitting with our lemons. Uh, it, we tried to call earlier, but it, it didn't go through. Okay. Well, you're through now. For some reason, I feel, well, I suppose I read your name off, right? You, so you that's didn't. what's... But yeah. I didn't? No, you did do it. Yeah, I, 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 sorry, I, this is all a misunderstanding. I said, I suppose I, I read your name off, but it probably sounded like I read your name off wrong, right? It sounded correct to me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's all good. It's okay. Yeah, yours, I can't, it's hard for me to watch these things while we do this show with audio stuff and whatnot, but from what I saw, I looked pretty awesome. Oh, thank you. And I'm definitely going to uh, check that out at some point after this. Um, yeah, well, I but, wanted to thank you for just hosting the event, and this is my favorite film festival. I, I love it. Oh, cool. Well, thank you. Yeah, that's awesome. And thank Good you for work. submitting. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's fantastic. How long did it take you to, to make that one? Um, that one took a couple months to make. I, I made it a little while back, and I've been submitting for like, I don't know, like, I don't, it feels like half a year now or something. Wow. Yeah. Well, you got in tonight. Yeah. Definitely. And, uh, yeah, just thanks for hosting the events, and it was the best film festival. Cool. Well, yeah, hey, thanks for tuning in, and thanks for submitting, and Doing what you do. Spread the word. I'm sure you have been. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Have a good uh, night. Congratulations. Yeah, I, <laughs> I will, yeah. Hopefully, uh, we've had some issues with Screamy, uh, as you, um, I'm sure, have followed. But Yes. Um, it's been tough. Yeah, well, 
Let him know I love him. <laughs> okay, I will. Okay. All right. All See right. you, Terry. See you soon. All right. Bye. Bye. <coughs> well, that was a nice call. <coughs> that was a nice call. <coughs> All right, guys. Should that be it? I think... Are we losing viewers yet? Here, could we get a close-up on the chimes and we'll do a nice sort of respectful ending? What, what kind of thing could I give them? I could give them... Bye.